Hey everyone, welcome back to Roadside Coder. So in today's video, we're gonna learn debouncing events in React.js. So let's Google what debouncing actually means. So according to Geeks for Geeks, debouncing is a programming practice used to ensure that the time consuming tasks do not fire so often that it stalls the performance of our web page. I guess that is the perfect way to describe it because what debounce function does is it delays the given function until after the stated wait time have passed since the last time this debounce function was called. So we are going to debounce the API call that is being fired off with every keystroke in our dictionary app because we only want our results to be displayed whenever we are finished typing so that the performance of our app increases. So as you can see if I type ball. You can see it gets typed instantly with every keystroke. If I remove L, let's say bat, you can see the results are instantly changing whenever I'm changing the alphabet of this word. So what we want to do is whenever we are finished typing, we only want results to be displayed after that, after like one or half second after that. So let me display you over here. So if I type ball, you can see it didn't instantly displayed as the results. But after like a second or so, it displayed our search results. Let me type hello. There you can see, I think the wait time is a little bit too much. We can reduce it to like half second or like, like fraction of a second, something like that. Now, if you don't know about this dictionary app, this is the project that we created a few weeks ago and you can click on the I button or the link in the description to watch it and build it yourself. So yeah, let's get started and learn how we can implement debouncing in React.js. <laughs> So let's start by understanding how this API call logic is actually working. So I'm going to go to my source folder and my app.js. So for this input box, I've created a state over here called word. So we are passing this state to this header component, which is located right here, um, right here. So let's go inside of this header component. So inside of this header component, we have this text field where we are changing the value. Oops, sorry. This is the text field where we are changing the value by using set word. So whenever the set word changes, what happens is our API key gets called because it's mentioned in our use effect dependency. So whenever this word changes, this function gets called and you know, our API gets fired off again. So here's the word. So this is how this app is working. So now let's see how we're going to implement the debouncing with this. So we cannot directly implement debouncing over here. So we let's just create another function right over here. Handle text. You can give any name to this function. I prefer giving handle text. And we're gonna receive the word over here, let's say in form of the text. And we're gonna set it inside of it. Set word to text. So let's send this text to this. Instead of set word, I'm going to write handle text. So it should work absolutely fine still. Let's check. I'm going to refresh it and check all. Yes, it's working fine. So let's work on debouncing this function. So we need to import debounce from Lodash. So import debounce from Lodash. Lodash. Here we go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have to wrap this in the debounce. So let me show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to set parenthesis and type debounce. And after that, we need to give the time after uh, the, the seconds after which it's going to be called. So let's give it one second. Now you're going to see we're going to have an error over here. Now you can see that it's giving us this error because debounce function expects a function and we're not providing it a function over here. So let me make this a function real quick. I'm going to make it an arrow function and let's say I'm going to give const deb equals and I'm going to call deb right over here. Let's test it out now. Hello. Oops, it's something's wrong. Wait. I think I know what's wrong. I have value equals word over here. Let me remove this up. Now it should work. So hello. And there you go. There's a delay of one second over here, but there's something wrong. 
notice if I type ball whoops yeah bell was also a correct word so bell so you can see it's just delaying the amount of the words that we are typing it's not delaying the whole process it's delaying every single alphabet so it didn't make any difference the performance of our app is still the same what we want is that whenever we type let's say ball so it should instantly display the ball over here and it should only display the results for the ball word and not the sequential typing of B-A-L-L. -L. So it still doesn't make any difference. So how we're going to achieve that? We're going to use a hook called use callback. I'm gonna go over here and create a function D-E-B over here. So use callback. So this is how this hook looks like. So inside of it, we're going to create our function. So let me just copy this function up and I'm gonna paste it over here. Remove the semicolon and let's remove this from here. Okay, use callback is not defined. Let me define it. Text is not defined, obviously, because we're not calling it right now. Let me call it deb text. need to provide the text over here as well and now it should work there we go now let's try it out let me refresh this app and I'm gonna type hello and there you go this is what we wanted to achieve let me type bat there you go no sequential typing is going on now it's just giving us the word in one go now how can we make this even simpler we don't need this use callback Let's just remove that or maybe let me just take this first and then remove this and I'm going to place it right over here. Remove all of this debounce. Yeah, so this is our normal state. But what is the simpler way that we can achieve debounce over here? So in this whole function, we can just write debounce before it. So debounce and we're going to cover all of this function with that. So let me cover it up comma let me give let's say one second of delay so like we're gonna type plane there you go it still works absolutely fine hello there you go so this is how debouncing works in react.js so you can use it to delay numerous type of events you can use to use it to like say if you're clicking on a button you want that button to act up like after two or three seconds later so you can apply this function over there as well so this is how its syntax looks like so we need to cover the whole function in this debounce and then we need to provide the time in milliseconds at the end of this function so yeah this is what debouncing in react.js is so if you want to create this application, don't forget to check out the dictionary app in react.js video. It has light mode and dark mode as well. So I give it a huge fat thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.